I had an old newspaper editor who used to use a term for uh, somebody who was in dire straits. And believe me, Oregon State is in a precarious position. We all know it. No conference affiliation. Stuck in legal purgatory with their lawsuit with the Pac-12 conference. Now without the head football coach, Jonathan Smith, leaving for Michigan State. That old newspaper editor used to say that, hey, when you're in those kinds of positions, you are bleeped and far away from home. Bleeped and far away from home is what I'm thinking about as I think about Oregon State and what they have in front of them. And, and it's not like they have months to figure this out. They're down to days. Scott Barnes, the athletic director, told me he's going to stack the interviews. They're going to try to find that head coach. And, you know, you've got this legal thing going on in the background. That maybe there's a settlement this week. Maybe the Supreme Court in the state of Washington rules in favor of the Pac-2. I don't know. Schedule release for the upcoming 2024 season is going to come out. I feel like I'm watching like some kind of adventure action movie and Scott Barnes is in it and the president of Oregon state's in it and the Oregon state fans are in it. And they've all got to try to figure their way out of this thing and figure out how to get out of it alive and get out of it in a position where Oregon state can be a viable football program moving forward. Now I'm not making light of this for Oregon state fans. They have been through the ringer in the last year. Watching Oregon and Washington leave the conference, being left behind, facing relegation to the Mountain West Conference, but looking over and going, hey, we got that guy on our side. At least we have Jonathan Smith in our corner. Made him feel better. Without Jonathan Smith, Oregon State's going to have to find a way out of this using its home stadium, using its Pac-12 resources that they could derive from the lawsuit, and by making a really good hire. Trent Bray, the defensive coordinator sitting right in front of their face, is probably the obvious answer at Oregon State. He gives them the most continuity, somebody who they know and probably trust, and comes with the blessing of some players that might stick behind and stay around to play for him. Transfer portal opening December 4th. Real problem for Oregon State. There are other candidates who would work. Brent Brennan, the coach at San Jose State. He's got an Oregon State history himself. He's got a bunch of assistant coaches on his staff that have ties to Oregon State. Brennan would also be a great candidate. Or maybe Paul Chris, the former Wisconsin coach, who also coached at Oregon State. What I'm saying is Oregon State, while it loses Jonathan Smith, knows that the solution for surviving right now and maybe thriving is going out and finding somebody else who is familiar with their story and knows who they are and knows the challenges. Somebody else who won't need a map to get around campus on day one when they arrive. That's what Oregon State's up against. Frankly, like, you know, you don't wish any of this on your worst enemy. And I heard from Duck fans in the wake of Jonathan Smith's departure who said, I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. They're watching Oregon State go through this. I'm watching Oregon State go through this. And I'm fascinated by how they're going to figure out how to get out of this. What are the things that Oregon State has in their favor? The stadium. Research Stadium being completed is a huge bonus. They'd be in a far more precarious position if Research Stadium still needed funding, wasn't done, if there were still cranes hanging overhead. They've got the stadium. They are equipped to be the best and most attractive and most well-funded group of five program in the country if they can spin out of this all right. There are things going in their favor. They don't have to accept relegation to the Mountain West Conference. But, man, Oregon State, first and foremost, has got to handle the business, the thing in front of them, and hire the right coach. You think about coaches leaving programs, and sometimes they leave a program and it's a mess. Coaches leave programs, maybe they retire, and the program's in an okay position. In the history of college football, I don't think there's been another example of the kind of circumstance that Oregon State is in in the wake of Jonathan Smith, without a conference, it, in the middle of a lawsuit, and doesn't have a 2024 schedule, at least not one publicly that's put out there. You know, to Oregon State, I say good luck to you. To Oregon State fans, I say, man, I can't wait for you at the end of this to be cheering louder than maybe you were before it, because you probably have it coming.